My name is Mike Ingram. I'm the technical support lead for Paxton Access, and today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a Net2 Plus board with a PoE splitter in just a few ingeniously simple steps. So here are all the pieces that you need to get a door up and running. Main thing being your Net2 Plus board with your PoE power supply splitter. You have a stripe with the wiring that would be coming from the door, your card reader that's color coded to make it simple to wire into the Net2 Plus as well as your push to exit button color coded as well to wire into the Net2 Plus. You also only need a pair of wire strippers and a small flathead screwdriver to screw the wires into the controller. And lastly, you'll need a, with this one, you'll need a power over Ethernet switch as well as a cable that would run from the switch to the controller. Wire in your strike, so we make it easy, connectors that pull right out. So you want to take one of your wires, one of your positive wires, and put it into the common, common on the connector, wire it in. Then you're going to have your this jumper. This jumper is going to go on your normally open and will ultimately go into the 12 volt on the PoE splitter. Once you have those in, you can put them back. So next thing, now that you have those in there, you want to pull your connector off of your PoE splitter. Notice it's 12 volt and 0 volt. This lines up just like that. Your positive is going to go into 12 volt, so red into positive. Then your negative wire from your strike will go into the 0V. Once these are all in, Plug it right back in, and down at the door, both strikes have a connector like this, and it will plug right into your strike. Next thing we want to do, we want to wire in our card reader. Same thing, pull the plug. Our readers are color coded, they match the labels right on the Net2 Plus. So you just take each wire. Look at your label, so your first wire is red, your next color of wire will be a brown wire, then an amber or orange wire. Then you will put your green wire in next. Now these next two wires are important, this is your data wires. So your first wire is data, your next wire is blue, and it is clock. Then you have your media detect wire. This wire could be either white or purple. And then lastly, your ground wire. These are all in, and your reader is now wired in. If you had a door contact, you would also wire your door contact in right here. It's two wires, non-polarity sensitive. It's just going to tell you whether or not your door is open or closed. Next would be your exit button. Pull your connector, color coded. Red, black, green, and gray. So your first wire is going to be your red wire to go in. Next will be your green. Then your gray. And lastly, your ground or black wire. Once these are all in, you put them right back into the netter. And there you go. All your components are pretty much wired in. Last thing you need to do now is you take your cable for your PoE. It goes right in the bottom where it says PoE in. Comes from the factory already with a jumper cable from Ethernet out to the Net2 Plus. And then you would plug your other end into your PoE switch. With the PoE, once it's plugged in, everything will power up and you're off and running and ready to install it and detect it into your computer on the software where it's already pre-installed.